Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. Welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play 7 Days to Die. So here we are in the frozen area here up north. And uh, I'm at a military base. Unfortunately, I should have started to record when I got here. But, you know, I, I don't want to record every moment of the gameplay. Because uh, we'd probably be up at episode like 500,000 that right now. Uh, but anyways, at the military base, uh, I think there's a couple of them at least in the world, they are usually surrounded by mines, and uh, which is kind of cool. And so what I'm doing right now is actually going around and collecting them all. I did clear all out all the mobs, and now I think it's a, a wonderful opportunity to just pick up these mines left on the ground, and I can use them down the road for my own personal needs and uses and wants and love and baby. So that's what I'm doing today. How entertaining is that? Um, it looks like I'm going to get quite a bit here. Most of them didn't get detonated. I think like two or three actually got detonated. And I tried as fast as possible clearing out all the mobs here. I uh, basically ran into the middle of the base as fast as I could and went melee to melee combat, which was crazy. But uh, at the same time, I think that was worth it because. Uh, I was able to preserve more of these mines. When you first come here, usually, like, all you hear is boom, 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 boom. You see, like, these potholes or the mines. There's even a couple more here, so... I only heard, I think, two or so, but it looks like somebody's been in the area in the past, actually. That's probably why more got set off. Uh, up north in the corner, there's a, a popular spawn point for new players, so it makes sense, actually. Um... So look at that, 58 mines. That's not too shabby at all. And I think that's pretty much it for mines anyways. Uh, inside, in that little tower, and uh, over here I think, somewhere. There's these empty munitions crates. It gave me two rockets, and then the other one only gave me 30 10 millimeter bullets, which I'm like, eh. Um, I've seen before when I was playing around a uh, sniper rifle, which would have been very lovely to get, but, uh, well, not, you know, first time around, right? We'll eventually get one, hopefully. Uh, I guess I'll just check the desk here. I don't really touch these corpses, but I guess they probably have something sometimes. Good. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this place. I just want to visit north and uh, check out some of the buildings. So that's that place. Let me go a little bit more north, check some of these buildings out. It's only noon right now, 11.30, so that's not too bad. Uh, you remember that beaker we got? Hopefully that'll work with... I think you need some of this uh, moldy bread and potassium or whatever, nitrate, um, which I don't have any here. That's from the stuff I'm mining, I think. I got this. Ooh, it's in stage two. Time left, 2.9 days. Oh, I wonder if it goes by in-game and not uh, when I was on. Uh, I lose stamina, your face products, and it makes a heal. Uh, basically, um, it's going to kill me. Once it gets into stage 3 at the end of it, I think, it kills you instantly or it kills you pretty fast. It's basically a disease, a sickness, and I'm dying. And if I don't cure myself... I will die. The nice thing about it is that you don't have to worry about it for, I think it's like seven or eight or nine in-game days, so like the last stage uh, fully hits and kills you, uh, from what I'm being told anyway. So that's kind of cool, honestly. I wonder if I got any more piping on me. I don't think so. I found a couple scrap pipe and repaired that. I ended up turning the pipe into the, the metal strips, which are really great for repairing. Um, my hammer is starting to do a lot less damage because it needs repairing. So if there's no such thing as like frozen dogs. The frozen mobs tend to have a lot more HP and stuff so I think even a, a bit more of a hit to them too so. This is interesting. Looks like a factor of some sort. Oh, that is a dog. Uh. 
the hell? I hope there's not a dog. Not like 40 of them. What the frig? I hate when they're derpy like that. He's like broken or something. Okay, we need to bandage myself before I bleed out. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. What the hell was that about? I've never been to here before, but I was like worrying about like dogs, like, you know, cause we, we see them all over the place, but I've never had five, six, seven, was that five, four, five, five, six, six, I guess, six. Either way, we might as well get them for their hide as fast as we can. Damn, that was insane. I did not expect that. Yeah, my uh, weapon of choice these days is the actual shotgun, not the sawed-off shotgun. And it seems to be doing buttes for me uh, for defending myself now, so that's kind of nice. There we go. So, oh, it looks like a cabin. Further back, I thought maybe it was some kind of little factor or something, but... I guess not. Aw, oh, darn it, they're inside. What did I just get from that, I wonder? Oh, shotgun. We're smashing up everything out there, up there. It's too bad. Hi. Oh shit! I got almost stuck in there by icicles. Like literally, my demise was done by icicles today. These ones are nice because they are one shots. Well, you're not. get to the point where everything's two shots now for these guys. Yep. That's what happens if you don't keep things repaired. Your weapon gets weaker and weaker. Weaker, weaker. Whoa. Good day, sir. Didn't see you coming for me. They, yeah, they, they've multiplied quite a bit inside while I've been fighting them out here. I hear them up there, but I can't... It's just gonna move too fast, like it's not worth trying to... Well, here's one guy here. Where's the other guy I wonder hanging? I wonder if I can gun squad him from here. supposed to happen. Yeah, leap! Oh 
man, this guy's tough. I think we did. Oh, my allergies. There, I think I muted in time. Bad, nasty sneeze. I got pretty nasty allergies all the time, it seems, so. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, look at it, a little safe in here. I have food on me, so you can see the stink marks coming away from me. It's like, come on, I'm tasty, come for me. Wow, some education here. I think I learned all these, but there's, I think, a bug or something that'll let me relearn some of these anyways half the time. Yeah. Even though I don't think I actually learned. Like, we already knew how to make a helmet, because we have the helmet on me, but it'll keep doing it. I can't complain. It's kind of fun just relearning them for the sounds. Weren't two of those the same books? You know what I mean, though? Pretty derpy. Let's check what we got upstairs, shall we? What's my score anyways? 413 zombie kills. Ooh, I've been busy. A lot of bags. Which I think are great. Look at all the water I've been getting. I just don't have to worry about running out of water on this place. Did I take the opportunity to clear all those cars? I think I did. Just want to make sure. That's kind of cute, they put a little snow on here, like a balcony or whatever. <laughs> Pretty sweet. I think that's it. That's all she wrote. Ah, little rabbit. Ah, silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Wow. Can't say no to burn nests. Especially in this abundance. Nice. So our inventory is pretty much full, rock solid. Ew, this gun, best for hunting. Just like that. He keeps logging in and out anyways. Technical issues, maybe? Okay. Let's see what we can do here. We need to do a little crafting. I wonder what these could be crafted into. Can they? No. Um... Let's see. We're just putting all our junk in here for iron. Yeah, I can make the molds out of the shotguns, but I'll do that later. Plus, I don't want that kind of shotgun as much. It's the other one that I'm using now that I find the best one. Yeah, that's nothing. Um, I don't know why I have those. They seem kind of interesting, but... Is that it for metals, do you think? I think so. I'll open up some opportunity in my inventory. About food here.
I didn't get any more scrap bars, did I? Darn it, that would have been beautiful. For me, it'd be even glorious, but yeah. Look at all this wood. These lumberjacks, so this is gonna be lumberjack village. Stay away from the fuel. This is great. Anything with fuel is great because it means I can make that into fuel cans later for things like the that auger. If you don't know, there's an auger in this game. I have. It's kind of rare, um, but the auger is basically a miner, like a power miner. It lets you mine a lot better and we need to fix that bleed let's painkiller it up it's nice though when I get hit besides you know the random bleed here and there that don't take as much damage as I used to because of all that armor I'm wearing which is glorious honestly Hammer. Can't wait to search these out, but we better finish these guys off. Damn it, they're inside there now. Sometimes there's no winning, huh? Are you kidding me? You can't see me from there. Like, they swarm a bit better than that one. Like, I'm punching all their friends with a massive sledgehammer in the head. Oh, I feel that way. I guess I need to introduce myself, because they have having problems finding me here. you're outside. Either a mist on his head there, or the melee weapon's really gone to crap. Either way. Wish I could repair it soon. I should probably learn to remember to repair things like that before I go out to One hundred thirty-two kills. It's like so beautiful. Okay, I don't know if there's anything worthwhile in here, to be honest. But these are iron doors, so you can hold back anything really. These are cardboard boxes. <laughs> Not like I have to tell you that, but I'm just saying. Yeah, they're cardboard boxes with bones in them. Oh, maintenance ready. You ready? You ready? Oh. oh, these are good for food cabinets. Oh god, not more water. I get excited about the food cabinets at this point because 
I don't really have any food on me, so... What is that? See, these boxes probably would never have the auger in them. I think it needs to say, like, garage box or something. They, they're, like, exactly the same, but they're, like, actually in a garage, and they have a chance, I guess, to drop that auger. That's my assumption, anyways. Because I notice in garages they have a completely different kind of box, so... Always check the medicine cabinet, well, for painkillers and stuff, but maybe even a chance of... Oh, looks like that's a really weird house. <laughs> Just for that slight chance that I might find those antibiotics without having to make them myself. I don't think the recipe is really hard either. It's just you put the beaker in your, you know, we have the pot in our fireplace or whatever for the, the cooking fire. You put the beaker in there instead of the pot. And then I think all you literally do is put that moldy bread I have, uh, that potassium, and maybe water. I don't know uh, for that part. And maybe like a plant or something. But anyways, then it just equals the antibiotics, so. Oh, well that's rare, so you probably want that for sure. Uh, what don't I really need? That corn, I guess I really don't need the wildflower. I'll just end up, uh, you know what? I mean, I'm gonna end up... That glass pane I definitely want. And I thought I had a bunch on me. Didn't I have? Oh, that's my glass pane, I see. And, uh... There you go, we can just go like that. There you go. Let's go ahead and put this in here. It's a hunting rifle. What's this score? 143. I wonder why he keeps going in and out like that. Just putting all my medals in here now. They're condensed, right? Didn't I have like a can tin or something? Yeah. Is that everything? Or close enough, I guess. Anything else I wanted? Yeah, I'll leave that stuff there. So you can see I'm start ow, starting to skip things here and there because I don't think everything seriously is important as much as before. Um, let's check out. Oops. I wanted to check out this building over here. Yeah, these garages. That's just a normal cardboard box, too. Oh, piping. Good. That is good. That will help me repair my tool, just at least out in the field, you know. Oh, soup. Man, more guns. More guns, man. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do this, and oh my, finally got a stack of that. And what we'll do is we'll put this in here, and you can see right now its damage is 22 point something. We do this, 22.26. It'll actually increase it quite a bit. Um, when it's in the green, it does like 30 plus. Yeah, 36 damage right now, but it'll clearly go back into the yellow pretty quick because you know it's already. Pretty damaged, but uh, yeah, that was a pretty nice trip. I don't think we're gonna get much more out of what we did. Check these out. Oil's good. Apparently, oil is pretty rare too, so pick up the oil. It's used for repairing weapons and stuff. Things like your Magnum, you can't repair, or not repair, you can't recraft unless you get all the pieces again, right? So as far as I know, it's actually a beautiful thing to have, so keep that in mind. But besides that, I guess we can go down the road, but I think we're going to end this episode here soon, because we did pretty good, and honestly, I need to start heading back, so...
Didn't say anything, has he? Oh, no. Is that his base? The, the view, like the the sledgehammer, as we know, it's a great melee weapon. Also sucks how much uh, of my view it takes all the time, so I find it kind of annoying in that sense. But be careful here. This is where dogs like to spawn. I find some of the dogs like they 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 meant to spawn around the road, so I want to be careful. Oh, I got a purse, madam. You dropped your purse. Ooh, bandages. Always makes me wonder know what kind of bandages that they are though. They might be for some other kind of bleeding. Ugh. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna end it here. I think I'm gonna just like actually literally shortcut it back to my place, like right like this. Yeah. So I'll just be walking mostly in the woods, hopefully collecting some flowers, uh, etc. But I think we are are done for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and please consider subscribing, and uh, we'll see you in the near future. Ciao.